welcome back. Welcome, welcome. I hope everyone had a wonderful long weekend. I hope you're feeling rested and good. And I hope your reading test went really well. I mean, I'm sure they did. You guys are so smart. Um, so feeling good, finished our test, and ready to get back into ceramics remote learning. Um, I'm so excited to start our projects again together. Um, I missed our time together, but I'm happy to have you back with me. And thank you so much for joining today's class. So we're going to get right back into it. Today, we're going to be doing a drawing project. And what you're going to be thinking about is how you stay active in your home. What's something you do to keep on moving during this time when we're all in our homes? How do you stay active? For me, I try to exercise at least once a day to stay active, keep my body healthy, right? So how do you stay active and how might you show that in a drawing? And if you don't stay active at home, how might you want to stay active and how could you show that in a drawing? So that's what we're going to be thinking about for our project today. Um, but before we start, we're going to take a look at some artist inspiration of how these artists showed their activities within their imagery. So let's take a look at what these artists did. So here we have two artworks. First one is by Matisse and the second one is by Keith Haring. So Matisse's work is a collage and Keith Haring is a drawing. So when we do our own versions, we can either do drawing or collage, whichever you prefer. So what do you notice, first of all, about these two artworks? What's telling you that there's movement happening? How did the artist show that movement? What are the things that are making you see that there's action and activity? Because these images are still, but to me, it looks like different movements are happening. Do you think the artist did a good job of showing an activity in their art? If you think they did do a good job, what makes you think that? What was successful? And if you don't think that the artist was successful in showing activities in their art, what do you think could have been done better? What are some changes that you think could have been made to make this artwork more successful? And if you think one was successful and one wasn't, what do you think was different in the one that was successful? So if you think Matisse's collage was more successful than Keith, why? Why do you think one was more successful than the other? What did that artist do to portray the activity that the other artist didn't do? If you need more time to think through and process your thoughts, you can always pause this video at any time. What do you notice about the colors in these artworks? So both of these artworks are very different and unique and they showed different ways of moving and showing activity in their art. They're both having activities in their imagery, but very different ways of representing that. So when we start, we're going to be creating our own way to show activities in our artwork. And we're not meant to copy these artists. I'm just showing you these artists to give you some art inspiration not so that we can replicate it and make the same thing. 
we all have our own unique way of creating, and I can't wait to see what you guys are going to do. So let's get started. All right, guys. Um, so now that we've had some art inspiration, we've checked out some other artists' way of showing activities and movement in their art, it's now time to create our very own. So think to yourself really quick. Why do you think it might be helpful for an artist to try and show movement in art? Because obviously our imagery isn't going to move, but why could it be helpful for an artist to try to show movement in their art? What do you think? And now it's time to think about how you want to show an activity. It could be any activity you do at home. What do you do to stay active? and how do you want to show it in your artwork. So you could do a drawing for this project or if you'd like you may do a collage. Um, a collage is using pieces of paper to represent your picture. So you're cutting out all the little pieces and putting it together. Um, usually you need a scissor, some glue to take or to stick your pieces onto a piece of paper or a background and yeah, that's pretty much it, and paper. Um, but if you don't have glue and scissors and those materials for collage, you may draw it out. And you can use color if you'd like, or pen and pencil is totally great too. Any type of paper works for this project. Anything you have at home, lime paper, colored paper, newspaper, whatever you have um, to draw on or to turn into collage. So for me, I'm gonna do drawing. That's one of my favorite ways to make art. I love drawing. So I'm going to draw it out. I just have some lined paper and I have my handy dandy pen. Um, and that's what I'm going to use to represent my activity that I do at home, which is exercising. But remember, I'm going to work alongside with you, but I'm not expecting your work to look like mine. All our work is going to come out different and unique because we all have our own way of creating. So I'm drawing mine along with you, but I'm not expecting you to copy mine or try to make your artwork look like mine. Your artwork is yours, and this is your time to get creative. So let's get started, you guys. And I'm gonna put on some music. So if you haven't done so already, now is your time to pause this video and grab your materials that you need to make your art. So for me, I kind of want to show a whole scene. So I'm going to start by drawing my living room because that's where I do my exercises. So I'm thinking what angle I want to draw my living room. my couches in. They're right next to me when I usually exercise.
I don't think so. Sometimes we make errors in our art, but that's totally okay. That's how we learn, and then we can adjust and find ways to work with it. So I made a little error, and I'm trying to change it up so that I can fix it to be what I want to be, what I want it to be. So I'm just starting by kind of adding the couch cushions that I see in the corner, and my other couch, and then, because so I want to make a whole scene of where I exercise. But that's just what I'm focusing on. If you want to focus on just you and not the scene, not the background, that's okay too. Time to put my other couch. I kind of want to make it look like you could picture the whole room by looking at this and you can get an idea of what I'm seeing and really be a part of my part of my imagery, part of my art. I'm kind of just drawing out outline for my couch and my living room. But I'm gonna put the um, TV and everything else in my living room, and then I'm gonna draw me in the middle where I always work out or exercise. And I'm really gonna try to show the movement of my exercise.
TV and my little TV stand Ooh, over here. Kind of made some mistakes, but that's okay. I can like color it in and adjust it so that I feel a little more happy with it. It's a little better. sheet in the TV because it's usually super black when it's off. I want people to know that that's the TV. This is my living room. And they take a look at my art. So I'm just shaking it in. But if you're not including what's around you when you're doing your activity, that's okay. It's just how I'm deciding I want to show my activity. But yours might be really different than mine. And that's a good thing. Because you have your own special way of making your art. Okay, so there's my TV. And my shelving over here. Maybe I'll shake that in there too. So if you remember, in our other projects, we talked about value, adding different light and dark, and sometimes that can help to make your art look a little more three-dimensional and give the illusion of space. So that's what I'm kind of trying to do with shading in my artwork. I just really like coloring things in. I enjoy shading. So I'm deciding to. But again, you might not want to add shading or coloring into your artwork, and that's okay. Now I feel like I might want to add some shading to the couch because I did so much shading on the TV. But now I feel like the couch needs it too. So I'm going to go ahead and like color these in a little bit. Just a little bit.
coloring it in with lots of scribbles right now. Like when we did our value scales, we talked about um, hatching, cross hatching, scribbling. So I'm doing lots of little scribbles to color in my couch. If you can see all my scribblies to make my couch cushions start to happen to show the dimension in them and give the illusion that they're kind of 3D. I like drawing the scribbles, I think it's fun. many scribbles. I'm having a lot of fun coloring in my artwork with scribbles. And the TV is like really black so I'm trying to like completely shade in my TV. to add me into it, showing my exercise, my activity that I do to stay active in my home. shade this couch yet, but I'm going to come back to it. And then I'll start to add myself. Hmm. So maybe I'll do myself with scribbles too, because I'm having so much fun drawing the scribbles right now. 
I don't know why it started like this, but I want to keep it going. So, Another movement now. Okay, there we go. to really give that feeling of movement in my heart so you can see the different actions that I'm taking. You really seem like you know what's going on in my artwork. So we have about two more minutes of our time together, making our art together. Um, so take a step back now. Look at your art. Look at what you've done so far. I'm doing that right now too. And take a look at what's working. What do you think is going well? Think if you have represented your activity in your art. It looks like you're moving, you're showing yourself, doing your activity. And if you still think that that needs work, what do you think you need to do to get to where you want? What are some next steps you can take? And while you're looking at your artwork and you've take, uh, taken a step back, Think about what challenges you faced along the way. So let's keep working. We have about a minute left. Um, if you need more time after this video is ended, you can continue working on your art. And as always, I love to see all the awesome things you guys are making. So you can send me an email of your artwork or you can upload an image of it right onto Google Classroom following the directions I posted for you in the ceramic section. Um, <clears throat> I'm just so proud of all of your hard work, you guys. You guys have been doing so much amazing things. I've been getting more photos of your work and just so much artistic effort and I missed this time together. I missed you guys over the long weekend. I'm so happy we're back in action and I can't wait to make all the amazing art projects that we're gonna do together. I know things are different now but our studio is right in our home. There's so much we can do and so much we've been doing. So I'm really excited to continue our projects you guys and yeah. I think this video is coming to an end. So give me a huge high five. Big high five. So proud of you guys. And I will see you tomorrow. Bye, loveys.